Hey YouTube, Justin Jacob Buck Reptiles here bringing you another episode of Morphs 101. And this episode we're talking about the Bumble Belly. This is a Bumblebee yellow belly. I'm not sure the camera's capturing the colors quite right because it looks a lot more yellow in person than I'm seeing through the lens here, but hopefully you guys can get a good idea of what it looks like. Let me try to get it up in my hand and see if it color corrects a little bit. It's getting closer. Uh, a little closer. So this is a bumblebee and a yellow belly, so it's a three gene animal. And you see the yellow belly does several things to it. First of all, it adds its blushing in the spider pattern. It cleans it up, makes it brighter yellow. And then in addition to that, it adds the yellow belly belly, which is all this crazy speckling you see here along the sides. That's from the yellow belly influence. So basically it makes a better bumblebee and when you're putting it into combos, the yellow belly really enhances any combo you're making. I'm going to cut out here and bring in um, another bumble belly for you to see to compare it to. Okay, got a, another bumble belly here and this one is even nicer. see the clean cleanliness of it really you, the paler they are as babies you want them coming out almost white they come out of the egg almost white you know they're going to be really yellow after a couple sheds and that's what you're looking for see it's got a little bit less pattern on the head it's about a month younger too so it's still coming into some of its yellow color I'll show you his belly See again, it's got the blushing in the pattern, which some bumblebees will have that sometimes. That's not really the sole indicator you want to look for. If you're looking for that color, really light patterned head, um, really clean, no speckling in it, and then the belly is the is the dead giveaway. The speckling along the edge, all along the edge. And then you get this weird kind of abstract um, blowing up of the, the spider um, you call them teardrops or the spider lines coming down and kind of blow up as they is influenced by the yellow belly belly on here too. But great mutation. These things are like combo gold to me. There's few there's few triple combos that I would like actually rather have in my collection than bubble bellies. And I was able to make four females this year. Real excellent additions to the future here at Jacob Luck Reptiles. Thanks for watching Morse 101 on Bumblebellies.